Hello and welcome back to another solo professional. I've got a Bleasdale farmhouse today. I'm slowly working through the maps. Right, here we are. Got a Sandra Williams responds if you're alone. Need EMF activity, motion sensor and a ghost event. Reports of violence. Fantastic. Just what I want to hear. <laughs> right, let's get the usual. I'll get the thermometer, EMF, and the flashlight. I do hate the farmhouses. Very creepy. I think this is the one with the attic. Right, here we go. I'll try downstairs first while I'm here. I did forget to look where the power was actually. It's not here, sometimes it's behind the staircase. Not sure if I heard a footstep already. Maybe I'm paranoid. I'll just turn on the lights while I'm here, but I'll turn them off as I leave, because I don't want to blow the power. Oh, hang on, 12.2, 12.2 degrees just then. 11. I think I found something already. Is it this hallway or is it the kitchen though? Hang on. Or maybe this bathroom? No, it's not this bathroom. It doesn't appear to be this hallway. It seems... Yeah, it's kind of here. Let me just... Oh, we've got a bone there. Perfect. I heard the footsteps, definitely. They're definitely here with me. Let's try the EMF. Hang on. Oh, this ghost is following me. Those footsteps are really loud. I am struggling to pinpoint the exact... Oh, the sink. Was that the kitchen sink? Yes, we've got dirty water. Okay, it looks like it's the kitchen. The temperatures are quite consistent here. EMF level of two at the moment. Right, they're doing the doors. They are very active. Got a very active ghost here. I have to say that was quite lucky. I did find that very fast. Right, let's go get some more equipment and I'll check where the fuse box is, just in case I do lose power. Oh, I can. I think I just saw a big spike in activity that just went off the board. That probably would coincide with when I was there about a minute ago. Yeah. Okay. So I've got the EMF reading already. Perfect. I do need to bring a motion sensor. I might try and do that later. Um, I will try and find out what evidence it is first. So I'll bring the UV torch for now. And I'll bring the ghost book. Yeah, I do like to place the ghost book quite early because they don't always write in the book instantly. Sometimes it can take a few minutes, so the sooner you place it down, the better. I think I just heard a very loud footstep again. I'm not sure if it was my own or not. Okay, that definitely was not my footstep. <laughs> this ghost is very active. Let's just have a quick scan for fingerprints. Let's try the doors. Um, I'm not sure it will be on these windows because I think it's in the kitchen. Not... Wasn't sure if that was a hunt then. That would have been a very early hunt. Ah, we have fingerprints on this light switch. And on the door. Perfect. Right, I'm going to turn off the dining room lights. I don't want to blow the power. So we've got fingerprints. Perfect. Let me just enter that. 
So, Spirit, Wraith, Polsgeist, Banshee, Revenant. Interesting. If I had to guess at the moment, maybe Poltergeist, although it's too early to tell. They've been interacting with a lot of things. Was Jin on the list, actually? No, not Jin. Okay. Interesting. Right. Maybe we should get a camera set up. Um, spirit box. Yeah, let's bring the spirit box. In fact, I do want to bring a photo camera. There's a lot to take photo of. Lots of activity right now. Ah, so there's the power. It's in the workshop, just beyond the kitchen. Good to know, good to know. I will bring the photo camera because I want to get a photo of the bone, the fingerprints. The dirty sink as well. While I'm here, I'll try the spirit box. And I'll see if they've written in the ghost book. Right. So nothing in the book. That's the dirty water. That should get the fingerprints. More fingerprints. Why not? Okay. Let's try the spirit box. Get my camera ready, just in case they make an appearance. Where are you? <laughs> Here! That was quick. Thank you. Don't need you anymore. <laughs> okay, we've got spirit box. So, poltergeist, wraith, or spirit. Let me get a photo of that phone. It was over here, wasn't it? Yep. Nice. And do remember to pick up the bone afterwards. It does give you extra money. Yeah, other things you can take photos of are fingerprints, dirty sinks. Um, oh, just lost the light. Sorry, you can take photos of fingerprints, dirty sinks, um, Ouija board when it's turned on, bones... Photos of the ghost, ghost interactions, such as um, if the ghost is throwing an item or currently opening or closing a door. Right. So let me check the journal. We've narrowed it down. Spirit, Wraith, Poltergeist. I believe a Poltergeist would be ghost orbs. A Wraith would be freezing temperatures. And I think a Spirit would be EMF. No, I'm wrong, sorry. A spirit would have been the ghost writing. Yeah. Okay, so it can't be EMF then. We can rule out EMF based on that. So, I've not set up a video camera so far. I could go and look for ghost orbs. My initial hunch was that it was a poltergeist. Um, I do need to do the motion sensor objective. Let's go and set up a video camera. And then we'll see what happens. I can check the book as well. And what did I say was the last one again? Let me check. Freezing temperatures. That was it. I don't think the temperatures ever got that cold. So I'm not sure it's a wraith. Right. Oh, sorry. I just had a bit of lag then. It seems to have settled down now. Sorry about that. I'm not sure if they um, blew the fuse box. Or if they just turn off the lights behind me. Where is this light switch here? Alright, we've lost power entirely. Let's go and get the lights back on. Um, I do want to keep my sanity up. Let me just set this camera up. In fact, I'll go and look for ghost orbs now. Seems as though I'm right by the front door. If it is ghost orbs, then it would be a poltergeist. The optional objectives did look quite easy, so I could probably go back and do them afterwards. Let's have a little look. Nothing so far. I'm not seeing any. I mean, I might need to try a different angle.
No, I've not seen any ghost orbs. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll bring a second camera. And while I'm there, let's check the book. And I think I left my thermometer in the room, so um, I'll double check the temperatures. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a fresh camera. I like to bring two because you can quickly get through your photos. You only have five per camera. And I did only have um, one photo left on the other camera. Right, I am going to go get the lights on because I think my sanity is probably draining in the dark. Ooh, there's a bottle on the floor. Okay, they've written in the book. Die, die, die. So it's a spirit. Right, I'm going to go do the optional objectives in that case. I think we won't be too long, so I will just leave the lights on. Off, sorry. I know one of them was a motion sensor, and I'm struggling to remember the other one. Here we go. Motion sensor and witness a ghost event. Interesting, I've not witnessed a ghost event yet. How is my sanity? Let's take a risk. Let's skip the pills. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can do the motion sensor. That should be easy. What was she called? Was it Sandra? Yeah, I'll tell you what is a good idea. Taking a photo of this board, and then you can read everything here in the journal. That's what I've started doing lately, because I often forget what's there. So I've got a motion sensor. I, if she's in the kitchen, I should be able to detect her. It's quite a small area. Motion sensors just detect in a small line in front of you. Let me get my camera ready, just in case she makes an appearance. I can hear the EMF right now. Very creepy. What's the EMF? Three. Right, let's get a motion sensor set up. Hang on. Oh, I can't see. Hang on. Where is my motion sensor? There it is. Okay. Right, hopefully, if she walks along here, it should pick her up. While I'm here and I'm going to try and witness a ghost event, I think I will go and get the light on because I'm going to go insane very fast. I just... Did you just hear that noise? I swear it was a piano or something. In fact... Ooh, the stove's on. There was a piano very... She's moving lots of doors. <laughs> yeah, there was a piano um, very close to this room. She might have been wandering. Okay, I'm going to ask for a sign. Give me a sign. Go on. I need a ghost event. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Show yourself. She's been very quiet right now. I did. Th I thought I just heard a footstep. Give me a sign. Show yourself. I think she just threw something. That scared me. <laughs> right, show yourself. Give me a sign, come on. Give me a sign. I'd rather not use her name unless I really need to. It does anger them massively. Give me a sign. Show yourself, come on. <laughs> she threw the book. Surely that witness surely that counts as a ghost event, right? If that's not witnessing a ghost event, I don't know what is. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> she just slammed that door as I left. That scared me so much. <laughs> oh god. Right. I don't think she wants us here. Okay, I've done the ghost event. I've not picked her up on the motion sensor. She 
She does not want me back in that house. She slammed that door in my face. Oh, I think we could do that. It's risky. <laughs> my sanity's low. Should I take pills or shall I take a risk? She does not want me back in that house. Um. Oh. She just triggered the sensor. It's just gone green. And it just ticked off. Oh, thank you, Sandra. I did not want to go back in there. All right, so we've got a spirit. We've done every single objective. We took a few photos. I guess we're going to get some good money for this job. See you, Sandra. You were a bit spooky. Hopefully we'll get about 200. Yay, 220. It was a spirit. Fantastic. Oh, got a little jump scare at the end there with the door. <laughs> I, I did get lucky though. No hunts. My sanity was low. I imagine a hunt was very close. Alright guys, cheers for watching. I'll be posting more soon. Stay tuned. In the meantime, stay safe and happy hunting.